We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you from January to February, March, April, May, June, July, uh, September, October, November. Father, we thank you because you are good. Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray for mercy that God should have mercy on us. Is there any way we sin against him? You know, we, you know, sometimes we sin, we do some things that is not good. Can God still have mercy on us? So let's pray now. Let's tell God that God should have mercy. That God forgive us all our sins. Lord, help us. As we are praying for forgiveness, let's be praying that God help us not to sin. Help us to do the right thing. Help us to do his will. Let's begin to pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father Lord, we pray for your mercy tonight. Father Lord, we pray you have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus, we pray for your mercy. Father Lord, you say you have mercy on whom you have mercy on. Father Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that tonight, oh Lord, you have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we pray you forgive us all our sins, sins of disobedience against the Holy Spirit. Ah, Lord Jesus, we pray you have mercy. The Spirit, Lord, have mercy, oh Lord. In every way, we don't be doing the right thing. Father Lord, we pray you have mercy. In any way, we will not be obeying your commandment, your instruction, Father Lord, we pray you have mercy on us, blood of Jesus, wash away all our sins, wash away all our sins, blood of Jesus, wash away all our sins, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we pray, oh Lord, from today, oh Lord, we pray you give us the grace, let's pray, let's ask God for the grace to always do his will, that God should give us the grace to do his will, the grace to be obedient to him, that God should give unto us, let's begin to pray, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father Lord, we pray for the grace to do your will, the grace to do the right thing, the grace to be obedient, God should give unto us in the name of Jesus. Last week we learned about uh, we studying the word of God. It's compulsory. God said we should study his word day and night. But if you have some of us, we've not been reading our Bible. So all these things, let's pray that God should give us the grace, you know, to be obedient to his word, to instruction. Father Lord, we pray, oh Lord, for your grace to be obedient. The grace to be obedient to your instruction. Father Lord, we pray you give unto us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. We are going to quickly pray for protection, that God will protect us. The few, uh, the few days that remain for this year to come to an end, let's pray that our life will not come to an end. That God will preserve us, God will keep us like the half of his eyes. God will keep our going and coming, begin to pray children in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray for your protection. Some of us, we are not closing our eyes, we are not concentrating. And you know, we are praying to God, the one of heaven and earth, the God that is better than man, that is better than everything on earth. The, the God, you know, that, that no, no one can be compared unto. Let's, so let's close our eyes, let's begin to pray. Let's make sure you are referencing God as we are praying. Let's put our mind together here. Don't think about, you know, the, the video you want to go and watch. Don't think about food. Let your mind be here. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father Lord, we pray you preserve us. Oh Lord, for the days that remain for this year to come to an end. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that you keep us. You keep our going and coming. Oh Lord, as we are praying for ourselves, let's remember our brothers and sisters, the little ones who cannot pray for themselves. Let's mention their name, that God will preserve them. Let's remember our parents, that God will keep our parents like the help of his eyes. No evil will befall our parents. We will not mourn over our parents. We will not cry. Our parents will not mourn over us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray you keep us, you protect us, you, you guide us, you will lead us, you be with us. Your presence will not depart from us all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. So now we are going to pray again, children. We are going to pray that tonight that the Spirit of God will direct us. The Spirit of God will lead us. Tonight is going to be uh, a different one because we are going to be reading the Bible in, in, in another dimension. Let's pray that the Spirit of God will lead us, will teach us tonight. Close your eyes and pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, tonight that you will direct us, you will lead us, you will guide us tonight. We pray your spirit will teach us everything we are going to learn tonight. We will remember in the name of Jesus. As we are going to read our Bible tonight, O oh Lord, we pray we will understand them in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, we pray you help us, O oh Lord, to, oh Lord, as we are released, as, our, as we are reading our Bible, we pray we will understand in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, children, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Good. So tonight we are going to read our Bible. So who is there with you? Um, Shama, um, Shama, who is there? Um, Nigel's in the house, is here. Who? Yeah. Who is there with Is it only you there or you have someone beside you there? No, 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 no Nigel's coming. Oh, okay, that's fine. What about Tolu? Where is Tolu? Yeah, it's coming. 
Oh, it's coming. Okay. So now we are going to open our Bible. We are reading the book of Matthew, chapter 17, and it's going to be in a different form tonight. Who do I have there? Is that, um, is that Bianca? Is that Zara? Who is there on the high phone? Christine. Uh huh. Okay, okay, yeah, name why. Okay, good. I just want to know people I have so I can be calling your name. So now we are going to Christian. Well done, darling. Happy to have you. So let's open our Bible to the book of Matthew, chapter 17. That's where we are. So tonight we are going to be doing it in different form. So, children, we have just seven minutes. Seven minutes to read the Bible ourselves. So you're going to read it. So it's not that you're reading it out or nobody's reading it out for you. You're going to read it, and I'm going to call you to explain what you've learned. Okay, so we are reading Matthew chapter 17. So we are having um, 7 to 10 minutes to read this. I don't want noise. If noise is your background, mute it. So um, let's open our Bible to the book of Matthew and let's begin to read. So you are going to read it and you are going to explain. So you are reading Matthew from sh chapter 17 from verse 1 to 27. And you explain what you've learned. So I'm going to start reading now. If you know there's noise in your background, mute. Mute your... So it's Tolu there. Tolu, open your Bible to the book of Matthew 17 and read from verse 1 to 27. So you are going to explain what you've learned. So now it's not Auntie Joy telling you, now it's you reading and you are explaining. Yeah, good. Um, Zara has just connected. Zara, we are reading the book of Matthew, chapter 17, from verse 1 to 27. So now, the tonight's session is quite different from what we've been doing. So tonight, we are um, you are reading the Bible yourself. So, Auntie Joy, in the next 10 minutes, you read the Bible. So I'm going to call you to explain what you've learned. So we, that's what we are doing. We are reading our Bible now. So make sure you are, don't mind people that are distracting you. Focus and read your own Bible. Children are intentionally on mute. Your don't don't on mute it. Just leave it on mute. Or just leave it on mute. Okay. So this is just so that I don't you don't distract other people. So I did intentionally. Later on, I will mute you. So Shama will be the first one to explain that Bible to me. So I don't know why she's not reading. Okay. And after six... No, no, no. I want you to read it. Just read it on your home. You read it, you explain what you've learned. So we are not reading out now. You are the one re reading it yourself. You look at the Bible and read it. I'm just reading as I'm talking. No, 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 it's not time. It's, you have, have, you, have, have you read from, from, from verse 1 to 27? No. So you have to read. That's what we are doing tonight. Tonight we are reading um, We are reading Matthew chapter 17 from verse 1 to 27. So you read it on your own. And then I will now call you to explain. So you are the first person that is going to explain tonight. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to call you to explain what you've read. So make sure you are reading. Make sure you don't allow anybody to distract you.
Auntie, I just came back. Can you please tell me what we're reading? Okay, that's fine, children. That's fine. That's the end of our reading now. How many of you were able to complete your Bible within that hour? How many of you? Okay, good. So, um, today is just a test. So, going forward, we'll be doing something like that, whereby we ask you to read your Bible with me, and then you explain. So, but um, because of our time, tonight we will go through, uh, we'll read it out. You know, I believe you might, you have learned one or two things, you know, from that part that you've read alone. So um, I'm going to call Shama now. Shama will read from the from from verse one to ten, and she will explain what she has learned. <coughs> so, but going forward, children, once in a while, we ask you to read the Bible quietly, like we all did now, and then you will explain. So I want you to get used to that. Okay, Shama, read and explain what you've learned. Yeah. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brightened them up into a high mountain apart. Hold on, darling. Hold on, darling. We are reading the book of Matthew 17. A Y. Matthew 17. Matthew 17. Okay. Uh, Tolu, is Tolu joining us tonight? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So, Tolu will be explaining, the, um, will, will be summarizing the whole class at the end of the class. So, I hope his mind is here. Continue, darling. And was transfigured before them, and his face did did shine as the sun, and his raiment his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, take talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make their three tabernacles one of thee and one for moses and one for elias while he yet spake behold a bright cloud overshad overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which says this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased good Amen. just hold on darling where did we hear that on that line you know that that voice in the bible where <coughs> better don't you tell me I know we've, we've had that uh, line before, that word, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. So when did we, did we hear that word? In is the that book? John 3.16? No, not John 3.16, it says, uh, for God so loved the world. We heard that word when Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. Um, John the Baptist. So Jesus Christ, why did Jesus Christ enter the water, the heaven opened. And there was a voice from heaven saying, so children, I want your mind to be here. We've learned about these things before. So this second time is repeating in the Bible itself. So I can ask you during our quiz that um, uh, this is my, um, let me read it out again. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. How many times does that word appear in the Bible? So now you know that it's twice. When Jesus Christ was baptized and during the tra transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So continue, darling, from verse 6. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell, tell the vision to no man until until the Son of Man be, be risen again. From Fantastic. Him. Well done. Do you want to explain that for me? So it's basically what this um, Bible verses are telling us is nobody should fear God. Nobody should fear God. As 
God is the one that mainly is the one that controls everything and is the only person that can help you with things. Um, not only this, it's that they're clarifying that Jesus is that God and Jesus are real, that we should respect God in every possible way. Okay, thank you, Shaman. Let's clap for Shaman. That's good attempt. So make sure you are clapping, Danny. When I when I ask you to clap, make sure you are clapping. So um, I know there's a lot of story in the Bible. Okay, this part of the Bible is telling us about the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So I know some of us we might have heard that before. Ay, do you want to drop that thing? And next time when you when you start hitting my class, I'm going to remove you. So um, we have different story about Jesus Christ, the baptism of Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, we all know the death of and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, but this particular part is really is an essential part of the Bible that we need to know as a Christian. It's called the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So, where Jesus Christ were um, transfigured, okay? So, it's really important. That's a, a very important part of Jesus Christ's ministry. So, what happened was, uh, there was a day, Jesus Christ, you know, took Peter, James, and John, you know. We all know who Peter, James, and John. Who are they, please? Who are Peter, James, and John? Hey, why? Do you want to tell me? They are Fantastic. Thank you, Christian. They are, they are disciples of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ took them to a mountain. It was a high mountain. Jesus Christ normally go and pray alone. But this time around, Jesus Christ took them. Jesus Christ wanted them to know more about him. Jesus Christ wanted them to know that he is indeed, you know, the son of God. He is not just um, any, uh, just any half person. He is the son of God. Okay, so they know who he is. So Jesus Christ took them to the high mountain. And when they were there with Jesus Christ, something happened. There were transfiguration. So Jesus Christ face change. Okay, Jesus Christ's face changed, it looked like sun, and immediately, okay, um, and his garment was white like light. So that is Jesus, because Jesus Christ is powerful, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We all know the, the story of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ was transfigured, and behold, immediately, uh, Moses, you know, Moses that have died long ago, and Elias, I think El Elisha, that has, you know, died long ago, they appear. And what happened? And when they appear, you know, Peter, they were the, the the you know Peter, James, and John. They were so amazed, you know. For example, when you go out with someone and the person's face turned to like a son, and they look at you, be scared. Some they were amazed. They were like, "Oh Jesus, let's create a temple here. Let's create like a place of worship. Let's make this place, you know, a tabernacle." As they were talking, a voice just came from heaven. This is my be this is my beloved son. Behold, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. So when that thing happened, they, you know, they were, before they were shocked, but now they have, they, they collapsed. They, they, they lie down. They fell on the floor. They were so afraid. They were so scared. And Jesus Christ now touched them, you know, and tell them not to be afraid. They, they should arrive. That was what Shama explained, that we should not be afraid. So Jesus Christ told them not to be afraid. And just why I told them to lift up their their face from the floor. So when they lift up their face, they discover that they can't see anybody again. Jesus Christ has become, you know, normal like he was before. And then they were so amazed. And Jesus Christ told them that that was a vision. Okay? Children, have you seen a vision before? Have some of you seen a vision before? No. So as you are, as, have you seen a vision before? I can't see your face. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I can't see our uh, Christian. I can't see your uh, Shama. So, as a child of God, as you begin to grow, as you begin to you pray. That's why we say we should always pray, call on the Lord, live a holy life, be good. You know, when you start doing this thing, God will be God will be reveal some things to you. Okay, there will be revelation about this Jesus. Some of you you will see Jesus. It's possible. Okay. Some of you see revelation about heavenly bodies so that you will, those revelations will help you, okay, to hold on to Jesus. You won't doubt Jesus because when, when Jesus reveals himself to you, you will not doubt him. You, you will know that indeed Jesus exists. Your faith will be strong, unlike people that have never seen Jesus before, okay? So these people, they saw vision. That is what God revealed himself, Jesus revealed himself to them in another dimension. So it's not only Jesus that they are sleeping together, they are working together. No, Jesus showed them 
who he is. And they hear the voice of God from heaven saying, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. So children, um, we need to, I, I will just let us, I won't want us because of our time. I want, I, I will, we will read the other part later on, okay? Let's just um, stop there tonight. So we need to be, I just want us to go with this uh, mindset that God, that we want us to go with this mindset that God, I want you to reveal yourself. I want to know you more. Because every time we pray in Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, some of us, we don't, re we don't really know Jesus. Some of us, we don't even have salvation. Some of us, we don't, we've not really, really genuinely born again. We don't really believe in this Jesus. But when Jesus reveals himself to you, okay, children, when Jesus reveals himself to you, then you know Jesus better. It can be in your dream when you see Jesus. Okay? It can be it can be life. Okay? When God shows you revelation about heaven, about things. Okay, so that's what we've learned tonight. We've learned about the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. In the quiz, I may ask you that uh, what was the voice? What was the voice? The voice of the what the voice that the voice that came out of the cloud. What was it saying? So it's that easy. It's that simple. This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Where which part of the Bible has that? Uh, have we heard that before? In the book of Matthew, chapter uh, chapter three. Matthew chapter three during the baptism of Jesus Christ. So um, and then. It is really important again that your assignment is to read this part of the Bible again. So when you read it again, you understand it better. So you are going to go home and read that chapter 17 from beginning to the end. So next class, we are not reading next class. As we are coming to the next class, I will be asking you a question about um, where we start from 10. That Could you please explain? I can call Tolu to explain Matthew 17 from 10 to 27. So he's going to be the one to teach us. Next time, I'm just saying it can be him, it can be another person. So make sure you read another you know, part of the Bible. So who wants to tell us on um, what you've learned tonight so far? I know you might learned one or two things. There may be something you've never heard before. For example, the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. Probably you don't even know the meaning of transfiguration. You can go and check your dictionary after this um, um, this class, you know, and and know more about that word transfiguration. So, for, I want to ask you a question. If you were um, Peter, James, and John, what, what how are you going to feel when you see the face of Jesus Christ turning, changing to sun, and it's called turning white? What, how will you how will you behave? How will you react to that situation? So I'm just going to call the Miriam. I learned that. No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. If you were James, John, and Peter, okay, and suddenly you were with Jesus, and Jesus Christ's face changed, and the clothes, so how are you going to behave? How will you react to that situation? Well, I would not be afraid because no matter what Jesus looks like, he's still Jesus, and I should not be afraid of him no matter what he looks like or what he does because he is our Savior, and he is the person who to save us in the day of judgment. Let's laugh for Miriam. That's good. That's good. But Miriam, let me tell you first thing that will happen to you. You'll be so scared. It's normal. Okay? Good. But then, when you get scared, then you realize that, okay, this is Jesus. At least Jesus Christ has performed several miracles. They've seen Jesus Christ raising the dead, so they know he's powerful anyway. So then, you know, when you get scared, then you should be able to put yourself together and say, okay, after all, this is Jesus. We'll be living together. We know he's powerful. Even though he turned to something else, he's still Jesus. Do get good. So that's I'm really proud of that statement from you. Go ahead on. So um so do you want to tell me what to plan tonight? Zara, be preparing yourself. Um, okay. Um, so we we learned that um Jesus was transfigured and transfiguration means to be changed and um, it hmm. should because Jesus Jesus went from, in the transfigur transfiguration, Jesus went from looking like a normal person to shining bright, meaning that he stood out in front of everyone so everyone can see that this is really Jesus, that, you know, this is really the Son of God. Because it's, it's like if, if you're in a class, if you're in a class full of people, but then you see that, we see one person that is maybe smarter or taller, bigger than everyone else, you, like, you, 
you can see them because they stand out in yeah. front of everyone. Just like how, like when it says Jesus was shining brightly, that like, you know he stands out, so you know that this is really and truly Jesus. So um, yeah, and um, I think that that's that's what the story kind of shows that um, it's showing is like Jesus showed to everyone that like I'm Lord and that you know, and when God. Uh, and God's voice verified it when he said, this is my beloved son in who I am well pleased. So it's like, everyone can see that it's Jesus, but then hear, listening from, like, hear, hearing it from God, like, everyone is like, wow, hmm. you know, this is Jesus. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what I've learned. Let's clap for Tolu. Let's clap for Tolu. Tolu has actually explained it, in fact, even more clearer than how I explained it. Well done, darling. God bless you. God bless you. So I believe we all understand that, like it's very clear to every one of us. So Zara, do you want to add little? Do you want to tell me anyway your own way? Just my type to do as mentioned it before. Just tell me what you plant, or move that video on Zara and tell me. Oh, I can't find Zara. She's gone. Okay, um, Christian, do you want to explain what you plant, darling? What happened was. <laughs> Jesus transfigured because at the moment, um, at the moment, Peter, Peter, um, Peter, John, and James didn't think that God, Jesus was the true Son of God, the Messiah. So then he sent them up a mountain, and they saw that he. Tra then the clouds opened up and. And, and God actually said that this was the Messiah, this was the Son of God. Hmm. And they were awed, they were amazed, they were like, I can't believe it. And then from then on, they actually believed that he was the Messiah and the Son of God. Fantastic. Let's clap for Christian, everybody clap for Christian, that's amazing, we are done, God bless you. <laughs> wow, Christian, I'm so proud of you, thank God that you are really learning these things, God bless you. So it's to my um, AY now, so hey, AY darling, tell me what you've learned tonight, what is new, what you've never heard before, and what you've learned. I've learned that Jesus is Jesus, and you can't change a person just because they feel... Just, Jesus has done what he's done. He's protected us from our sin and everything. And it doesn't matter the way he looks. It matter what he's done on the inside and what he's like and what he has done for us. And he's given his life off, 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 off for him, us. Good. So let's clap for That's a great attempt. Let's clap for AY. Clap for her. Well done. Well done, darling. So we've all tried, children. So our assignment tonight is for us to go back home and read that part of the Bible again. Okay, good. And uh, Miriam, I think you found some of my question as well. So next week, I, I'm actually going to start with Miriam to explain that chapter 17 from um, 10 to 27 next week. So Miriam will be explaining that to us. So I want you to really read it. And I'll be calling AY, I'll be calling Christian, okay? Christian, do you want to be joining this class now, okay? Is it this class you want to be joining or the kids? Which one do you prefer? Yeah. You like this one? Teens. Things okay, fantastic, good, okay, good. So uh, that's the end of our class tonight. Let's clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Was it easy for you, children? I don't want to be bombarding you with a lot of stuff. I want it to be just short and something you can remember, something that you can relate with. Is that okay with you? Is that do you like it that way, or do you want us to talk and talk and talk and talk? What do you prefer? Hey, why? Talk and talk. Really? Ah, okay, that's fine. Next week, we are going to like read probably two chapters. <laughs> and then why you be the one reading. Okay, but I just want you to know that that topic is really important. We need to go and read our Bible again, the transfiguration of Jesus. Well done. So, hey, why? Um, let's round up the class now. Let's thank God. Close your eyes. Thank God for what we've learned tonight. Close your eyes and begin to thank God. Thank God for everything you've learned. Thank God for the grace God has given to you to connect. Make sure you are praying out. Make sure you are praying out, children. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what we've learned, for the grace you've given to us to connect to the class. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray now that God should have mercy. God should have mercy on us. And everyone will be doubting Jesus. 
that God should have mercy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father Lord, we pray you have mercy on us. That we will be doubting you in our heart. That we've not known who you are. That we'll be waiting, oh Lord, for you. Oh Lord, you know, to, to prove yourself again and again in our life. Father Lord, we pray you have mercy. Have mercy, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that God will give us vision. God will reveal himself to us. Pray, make sure you are praying. God, reveal yourself to me. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father Lord, we pray tonight that you reveal yourself to us in the name of Jesus and to reveal yourself to Peter, James, and John. Father Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that you reveal, we want to know you more, more than how we've known you. We want, to, we want our faith to be reinforced in you. Father, we want you to establish yourself in us, oh Lord. We want, to we want you to give us a sound vision of who you are so that every day of our life we never forget you. We will, the vision will be refreshed in our heart and it will keep us going. Father Lord, we pray, Holy Lord, you reveal yourself to us in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to Christian. Reveal yourself to Miriam. Reveal yourself to Ay. Reveal yourself to Shama, to Tolu, to, to Zara. Reveal yourself to Emanuela. Reveal yourself, Holy Lord. Oh Lord, even to all our name, Father Lord, we pray for all our children on this platform that the ones that didn't even remember to mention their name. Father, I pray you reveal yourself to them. Bianca, you reveal yourself to Bianca. Reveal yourself to Bianca. Yes, Bianca. Reveal yourself to Bianca. Reveal yourself to Bianca in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 amen in Jesus' name. So we are going to pray for Auntie Joy now that God will help her. God will give her, give her grace. So as you are praying, I will say, Amen. Make sure you are praying for me that God will continue to help me. I need the grace of God to continue. It's not by power. It's not by might. Pray for me, children. Amen. 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 I'm saying Amen to your prayers. Make sure you are praying. Amen. 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 The man, the gate of hell will not prevail over my life, over my destiny. Amen. Amen. I pray for the resources that I need, O oh Lord, to do this program. I pray you, God, you give unto me in the name of Jesus. Resources, O oh Lord, I pray you bless us spiritually, physically, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we are going to pray now for our parents that God will keep them. God will protect them. God will bless our parents. Close your eyes and pray. Hey, why don't worry? You still go and eat. You want me to talk and talk and talk and now you are frying your face. Let's I'm talking. Do you think do you think you will have time to go and eat? So close your eyes now. I thought you were eating something the other time. No, I'm drinking cup syrup. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. So, children, now let's pray for our parents that God will keep and preserve them. Close your eyes. Begin to pray for daddy and mommy. I believe you love daddy and mommy so much. So, you need to be praying for them. Close your eyes and pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray tonight, O oh Lord, that you bless our parents. Bless my mom, O oh Lord. I pray you bless everything that belongs to my dad in the name of Jesus. I pray you bless my dad. I pray you bless my mom. O oh Lord, I pray you bless me. You bless my family. You keep us, O oh Lord, like the help of your eyes. We pray no evil shall be for us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. So we have two prayer points left now. So let's pray now for um, our event in Birmingham that God will take perfect control, that the Spirit of God will move on that day, that the will of God will be done. Close your eyes and pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we pray for our event in Birmingham. Oh Lord, we pray you have your way. Holy Spirit, we pray you take perfect control of this event in Birmingham in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, take perfect control of our event in Birmingham. Oh Lord, take perfect control. Oh Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, satisfy the day in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, anoint the day in the name of Jesus. Let good things happen in the name of Jesus. No evil shall be for us on that day in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus. Let, last prayer point. Let's pray for glorious Christian children that God will increase us, that God will prosper us. Close your eyes and begin to pray that God will have more children unto us, more family. Close your eyes. Say why pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, we pray for glorious Christian children. Father Lord, we pray you expand us, you increase us, you have more children to us. In the name of Jesus, I pray you bless us. You bless glorious Christian children, family, in the name of Jesus. I pray you bless us, you increase us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. That's the end of our class tonight. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. So, Miriam, are you ready for the video? The video I said, do you remember? Okay, you are on a holiday, right? Are you not, are you not on holiday? Yeah, I was doing next week. Oh, you're resuming next week. Oh my God. Okay, but nevertheless, let's go through the videos. Um, 
I'll send the YouTube video to mom so you watch it and it's, it's explaining about um, you know the video I did for the mock so it's about our book of Matthew from 1 to 14 so we are going to go through that and okay and then we will do a video on it I know you have a jota you've just some some things that it should be easy so what did you want us to do the video you give me the day then I will next week Saturday what time? Um, maybe three. Three, two. okay. Three or two, okay. On that, they send me a message. Send me a text message of the time. So we do the, we do the Riaza first and then we do the class. Hey, okay, why do you want to do any of our video or you are not interested for now? Okay. No. Okay, that's fine. So, hey, why I'm going to give you an assignment. So you are going to do a video anyway on the transfiguration of jesus christ what you've learned okay. so you're going to do it in two weeks time <laughs> hey why well, want to talk on the transfiguration of jesus christ okay that's good so thank you children god bless you be good be lovely let mommy say good thing about you to me hey, why i want you to behave well okay at home don't fight your sister you have to love yourself you have to respect yourself okay good God bless you. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Do you have any question? Why e e and Mary, are you coming to Birmingham? Are you coming for our program? Uh, you don't know or you don't want to call? I want to go, but I will speak with mommy. I will ask mommy if she has that time. Okay, because it's going to be lovely, honestly. It's going to be really party dance. We are going to have costume like um, uh, we are going to have uh, you know, um, Santa Claus coming, taking picture and taking of a red carpet. So it's really going to be lovely. Oh, it's going to be fun. So you need to talk to mommy about it if she wants you to call. We are going to have quiz, and we are going to be eating a lot of fun anyway. So, so I want to see you. Hey, why, hey, why are you doing your mouth like that? <laughs> hey, why, hey, why, my darling? <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs>